What is up gang? Welcome back to another episode of It's Always Sunny. Excited to continue on with season 8. We are getting pretty close to the end of the season as well. Next time, I believe, is when we're going to be finishing it off. And so I'm excited to see what chaotic events occur. And I don't know how much more chaotic it can get than some of the events this season. Especially the McPoyle Ponderosa wedding. Just pure insanity. But they always seem to prove me wrong. And so I'm excited to get into this next Next episode hopefully you all enjoy watching along with me for it if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel grow and of course you can check out the full length reaction on my patreon link for it in the description below of course you need your own copy of the show to watch along with me but they are always uploaded before the youtube edit so you can get them there ahead of time but without further ado let's get into episode eight you were disrespectful to me get a life this is my life you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I was thinking it was gonna be like D WatchNet or something. You're flickering. <laughs> trying to get you good images. Keep getting shocked a little bit. Don't let that affect your work. I'm really trying not to. It's just that you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, poor Charlie man. What are they doing to him? I love that reveal. Turn the TV off. Let's 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 go out. Let's go do something. I'm bored. Let, hey, let's go dancing. Dancing. We're watching Real Housewives. You know, there's nothing real about this. I don't know where this episode is going, but I love all the potentials. D, are you sick? Oh, I haven't had a chance to shower for a few days. I've been gaming like a loon. Charlie, speaking of which, you want to come play my avatar for me for a little bit while I run some errands? Oh no, D looks like she's hit a point of insanity right here. There's so many potential directions this episode could go. Dancing, living real housewives lives. Treat me like a dumb dumb and a grunt. I have potential. I can go places. I can do things. <laughs> Tell him, Charlie. I believe in you, my guy. I might even rule the world one day. Rule the world, huh? Yeah, if that happens, I'll blow myself. <laughs> I'm right there in the title. It says he rules the world, so I guess Dennis is gonna have to pay up here soon enough. I'm excited to see what game it is that he's gonna be playing. I assume that's the main direction of the episode is them in the game world or playing the game, I mean. So it's called Techpocalypse, and we have to rebuild civilization. And this is me zinging QD23. Zinging QD23. <laughs> That's a fantastic name right there for a character. Seems like an interesting enough game. What is that? That's you. You're one of my subjects. Why am I in the game? Is that Mac? Of course that's Mac. You guys are all here. See, Mac's my handmaiden. <laughs> yes, dude. This is so great. I love that Charlie's in a jester outfit. And you're my jester. So let me get this straight. You've been playing this game just so you feel like you lord over all of us? Is that what this is? Do you want your five bucks or not? I want my five dollars. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about the money when it comes to him. D definitely needs an avenue to take out her aggression with the gang, though. <laughs> I'm so glad we get to see him dancing when he mentioned it before. I was hoping that we'd get that. I'm waiting for it to cut to people in the restaurant watching him. It feels weird as there's nobody else in the bar dancing. We're setting the tone, Frank. You know, we will lead and others will follow. <laughs> That's the classic move. Didn't seem to work out for him in high school, though. They got good moves, though. Three shots of whiskey. Come on. I know you guys. You're the donkey man. We don't know what you're talking about. Take a hype, bozo. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? How are they well known from the game? Must be a bigger thing than I thought. She's created characters for all of us. She's humiliating us virtually. Who cares? It's a video game. What do you mean who cares? I'm just starting to piss me off. Let's live real life. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is gonna eat him up big time. Dennis is gonna be on board soon enough. I'll just do the shots. How about that? Of this editing. Oh my gosh, dude, that came out of nowhere. Was not prepared for that. It's been the first time we've seen some projectile vomiting in a while. At least that one wasn't blood. I gathered some rocks and I built a little wall around your tribe. Then I used leftover rocks to dam the river so that you can fish. Now you're doing well in the game. All you did was spend your money on stuff you don't need, just like in real life. <laughs> Here we go. Charlie's starting his plan of world domination. What's going on with the fingernails? Well, I had those done like Flojo. See, this is your problem. I could take this money. I could feed myself for a month. I would buy milk, flour. I buy vitamins. I boil them down in little energy balls. This <laughs> Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what he already does. Charlie makes the most of what he has. Hey, do you want to maybe team up? No, because I don't want to be a slave. It's like when I'm doing good in the game, I'm doing good in life. 
oh, I want to make fun of you for saying that, but I kind of know what you mean. <laughs> Great line right there. I can't take anything she says seriously with those nails. Make me your king and let's get rocking. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'll see you later. No, 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 sit down. Just accept my request to consummate. What is that? Have sex. Oh, so um, we should have sex then? <laughs> Charlie, dude, the game does not blend into real life like that. His true feelings come out. Slow push and you do your thing or a little circular just push the button, push, Just push the button. Mm. That's good, right? That's it. <laughs> Feels like the only experience Charlie has had with love in a while or anything like that, any intimacy. Fight! Damn it! How do I keep losing? I'm huge! Stop fighting every guy in the game! <laughs> I love that Mac's character is just his perception of himself in reality. Mac is a soiled fool. And I am a gorgeous girl with big cans. And I'm banging all the fishermen in sight for fish. <laughs> Yes, dude. Frank running schemes in the game, too. I love their headsets as well. So official. You're a man. An ugly old man. I think I have something that can help you wrap your head around it. I've never had my hair cut in a bedroom. You don't have to go to a high-end salon to get a high-end salon quality cut. <laughs> We've never seen this clip before. I love always seeing stuff filmed in his room. Well, it's always, there's always so much, so much preamble. <laughs> His dance moves coming up again. I love it. What is the objective in watching this? How does it affect you sexually? I'm very aroused. There's not a woman in the room. No different than sports or video games. It's all a virtual experience. <laughs> there you go, Mac. Perfect analogy. If that doesn't get him on board, I don't know what will. I did these things. You say it's real, but what even is reality? Yeah, who knows? We could be in a turtle's dream in outer space. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know, maybe Frank's on to something. Gotta just be a matter of time before Dennis hops in. Hey! Frank? You are Sweet Peaches 69? How did you get so many followers? Some girls are more popular than others. <laughs> Why is he shirtless right now? Everyone is diving into their roles so well. You should come to my party. I'm gonna meet a lot of my online friends there. It's gonna be a very classy affair. But you can come anyway. <laughs> Wait, like an in real life party? Because I don't think they're gonna be happy learning who Frank really is. We're going to a party, a real one. Frank's throwing it. Yes, I know what's going on. I know everything that's happening. Do you know that he's parading around in a mink coat? I should be the one wearing mink. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like that D is the one out of control and Charlie's in control. Hardly ever see that. I trade with a guy online. He has a clothing store. I'm sure I could give him some crops and he could do a mink coat, right? For me? You would you like that? Give me a mink coat? I would love that. It's not gonna happen if I'm not playing the goddamn game! <laughs> yes, his explosions. Charlie is finally rising up the ranks. I wasn't thinking. No, you're not really the thinking kind though. I'm kind of the thinking one in the relationship. Right. So be pretty, you know, talk to me right. Yeah. Keep my energy, boss. <laughs> So great. I like how versatile Charlie is acting these parts. If it isn't the soiled fool. <laughs> Frank told you about that? Everyone's talking about it online. It's hilarious. <laughs> Man, I love this version of Charlie. I wish we got this all the time. Now look, you're good at building. I'm good at destroying. We should totally team up. Can you do me a favor? Can you watch her for a little while while I go meet a girl that I met online? A real girl? Oh man, who is it gonna be? I have a feeling it might be the waitress. That would be unreal. Charlie's done this before where he does elaborate plans to get the waitress. Don't tell me that is his plan here. Does anybody want to experience this? Anyone want to experience me? For real? Oasis sensory deprivation. Enter a new dimension. <laughs> Man, I like the sound of that. Pretty ominous lines, though. Experience a new reality. Stop getting invested in fake realities. I'm six foot ten. <laughs> He's finally having to confront his demons right here. Is it really worth breaking his beliefs? What is real? Is this real? Am I? Who are you? Oh, I'm you. That's an amazing accent. I like yours as well. <laughs> Yes, dude. This is Dennis's perfect heaven right here. Just interacting with himself. So confused, British Dennis. You create your own reality. I've known beggars to be kings and kings to be beggars. It's all because they believed it so. <laughs> British Dennis is pretty wise. Let's bring him into the mix more. Definitely the most trippy moment of the show right here. You are God. I am God. Oh. <laughs> 
Tennis and British Dennis assumes control. That was such a great sequence, like something out of Blade Runner. Charlie? Julie, right? The Queen of Thrones. <laughs> the second most powerful player in the game. The mighty rat slayer. His eye! Okay, so it's not the waitress, but she seems nice enough. Pretty big deal if she's the second most powerful. I brought you something. You did? The best cheesesteak in Philadelphia. <laughs> you dog! Oh, look, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Also, I love that Charlie is still dirty from the beginning of the episode. Man didn't even change for a meetup. I got you something too. I wonder what it is. <laughs> it's not much. Just a box of spiders. Ah! While we've been sitting here, my followers have burned your land, they've raped your people, and they've destroyed your tribe. <laughs> Wow, man, ever since the Alexandra Daddario episode, Charlie has revealed so many sides of himself, dark sides. You stupid fat pig. I'm not fat. You were supposed to be fat. My friend Max said you'd be fat. Whatever. Ah, I got the power now. I'm doing good in the game, so I'm doing good in life. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it always works, man. In a way, so fantastic. Give me your phone, give me your headset. I gotta get back online ASAP. She's not with you anymore, bro. Why is this oil fool talking to me? I'd like a divorce. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no, he got tossed out when he was gone. Everyone trying to get back at each other. You stupid idiot. Do you, do you have a brain in your head? I was tricking that girl so that I could destroy her tribe. We're the most powerful tribe in the whole game now. What are you doing? You know, I, I guess maybe I hadn't really thought the whole thing through. <laughs> Oh, poor Charlie dealing with all these peasants. I love that she's got the coat, though. How dare you all conspire against me? How dare you? You know what? I want everyone out. Okay? No, not you. Not you and not you. <laughs> he is about to lose it. I've never seen him push this far. So because I'm a nice guy, you know, because I'm a cool dude, I'll let you live, all right? But Mac and Frank, you gotta give me your shares of Patty's Pub. <laughs> Oh man, is Charlie actually going to take over real life too? Stop, Trula! This game has gone on long enough. Are you doing an accent? Yeah, it was a British accent. That was British? <laughs> He was so close, man. We almost got British Dennis in real life. You see, the only thing bigger than a king is a god. I'm the one who's thriving, Dennis. I mean, look at me. You look like you're covered in Hawaiian punch. Yeah. <laughs> Great response. This is the ultimate showdown. The virtual king versus the real life king. I unplugged it. Unplugged reality? I just, I, I deleted all of your characters from the game. How did you do that? You guys all have the same password. Patty's Pub. <laughs> oh no, Dennis the Menace. That's ruthless. All the progress they made lost. That's the end. Doesn't have to be a whole big thing. Sometimes things just sort of end. Dude, oh, that's a brilliant way to end the episode right after that line. Most of the time, I'd be bummed that they just cut it off like that, but it's pretty satisfying when it's done in that manner. Freaking love the space turtle imagery. Charlie's had a taste of greatness, though. I wonder if that's gonna bleed over into some more plot lines. And to think just a little bit ago, the gang just barely learned about Facebook, and now they were taking over the virtual world of gaming. Pretty impressive. Their rise to internet power. I especially love that Charlie was the one who actually rose to the top. So he was right when he said in the beginning that he's got potential. And so hopefully we see a little bit more of that in the non-virtual world as well. But I love that as always, Dennis usually can't stand people not paying attention to him. I don't think his issue with the game and reality, people not spending enough time in it was necessarily just about the game. I feel like like it was more about people giving him more attention. Because to Dennis, I don't think there is much reality outside of him and his being. But I liked all the different avenues they took in this episode with the game and everything. Definitely a fun kind of one-off episode. I was almost expecting us to end up in a community style episode where we just see the characters acting out themselves in the game. Which would have been cool. I don't know, maybe something like that will happen down the road. We definitely got a lot of seasons and opportunity to do so, but really fun episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed watching along with me for it. If you did, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Helps the video reach a lot more people. Helps the channel grow. And of course, you can check out the full length reaction on my Patreon link for it in the description below. And until the next episodes, look forward to seeing you all later. Peace.